from Andalusia in Spain. It's day four and the halfway point of the Canyon SRAM Zwift Academy. Yesterday, Mary, Ella and Ioni faced off against each other in a race to the top of a brutally hard climb, where Mary emerged victorious with a powerful show of climbing prowess ahead of a fast finishing Ella, enabling us for the very first time to see their real strengths and weaknesses. Remember, from the 5,000 initial entries to the academy, there will be only one winner of the coveted professional contract, so there can be no holding back. As you can see, it's pouring with rain outside today, but you know what, it doesn't matter because on the menu today is a double serving of swift action. In the morning, our three finalists face a brutal ramp test which will test the resilience and resolve as well as raw power of our finalists. And then in the evening, it's a fast and furious swift race around the volcano course. I'm coming in from the rain. Lars, the feared ramp test, not exactly a race against each other, more a race for the individual to see how far they can push themselves, how deep they can go. But for you, what in particular are you going to be observing? Yeah, we want to get the watt per kilogram out of them in a like, typical uh, lab testing environment. Uh, and then we can compare that uh, to all the, our other riders and see where they're standing. And uh, from a physical and from a mental perspective, these are something that riders get very nervous about because they are brutally hard, aren't they? I don't think so. It's a pretty short test uh, and only the last few minutes are, are you going deep. Um, I found it never that, that hard. Uh. Maybe it was just me then. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, regardless of what Lars says, I think these tests are brutal. I think Mayor and everybody else is going to agree with me. But basically, they start off at around 100 watts and then once they're warmed up every minute, the watts increase by 25 watts, basically, until the rider can pedal no further. Ella, just over the halfway point, are you happy that you've given it everything so far? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I've given everything 100%. Um, I think I've performed to the best of my ability. I mean, I did a new power PB yesterday, so <laughs> can't ask for much more than that. Ioni, your reflections on the first four days of the Swift Academy, are you pretty satisfied with the way things have gone so far? Um, I think so. It's definitely been a bit up and down for me, especially with the climbing day yesterday, because I really wanted to be there, but I know I'm not as strong climber as the other two. And then with the descending, I love descending. It's like, that's what makes up for my lack of climbing abilities. So I think I, think I would have got okay feedback from that. And yeah, it's definitely been a bit up and down, but we're enjoying it. Mary, four days in now. Simple question, where do you think you rank amongst your rivals? Oh, that's an evil question. I uh, guess yeah, so we've had four days to kind of uh, assess each other. You know, physically, on the hill climb yesterday, I proved that I was the strongest there, so, you know, that's kind of a, a tick for me. Um, handling wise, the sprints, um, I learned a lot. It's not something I naturally do uh, in a race, so that was uh, probably not my strongest point. Where I rank, I'll sit on the fence. Fair enough. <laughs> The moment has come, nerves are jangling, heart rates elevated, it's time for the Swift race. Now coming in to the final lap, all of our three finalists still in with a shout, this is going to be a thriller. Ioni, a tough hill climb, but no mistakes were made. Amazing sprint you produced there at the end after a very, very difficult race. Yeah, it was pretty hard, but I know I have the kick, so I just sort of had to sit in and try, like, just keep my power as low as I could within the bunch. Um, at the little pinches, I just tried to stay in the saddle and keep on top of the gear, but increase the power instead of, like, up the saddle. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. It's nice. It was nice to have something like this after a day like yesterday. So. Fantastic stuff, well deserved. Thank you. Beth, 
What a day. Ioni wins the Zwift race. Yesterday, Mary won the hill climb. And Ella, well, she's got the best watts per kilogram as well at the ramp test. So that's all the physical stuff looked at. But what about the other side of the coin? How do these riders stack up when integrating themselves within the team? That's a very, very important factor. Let's start off with Mary. Mary's the probably the most sensible. She's very modest, but you can see in her eyes, she's got drive, she's got focus, and her eyes are on the prize. Okay, Ioni. Ioni, she's probably the quiet achiever until uh, this evening, but now you see she's very passionate and she definitely packs a punch. Pocket rocket. And what about Ella finally? Ella, probably the cool, calm, collected of the bunch. And she's a joker at times, but she's also, she's very confident. So, are you going to stick your neck on the line? Who's leading at the moment or are you going to keep that secret? I'm definitely going to keep it secret. We've got a big day tomorrow coming up and uh, actually no, no one's a standout now. We're, we're still undecided. Epic is going to be the name of the day tomorrow. Five hours on the bike and a three hour hike to the Sierra Nevada. Well, what a story. Could this be any tighter? An epic day tomorrow, as I just mentioned. Do not miss it. I need to lie down.